Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? I hope you're all doing well today. It's your favorite uncle back today. You guys have asked me this question quite a lot. Uncle Rat, in the authorization header video, you talk about bringing the authorization header of a different user account into play. Why do you do this? We can't grab the authorization header of other people in production. That's true when you're bug bounty hunting, you can't grab that authorization header, but the authorization header is not what it's about here, guys. We only use it to simulate that we are logged in as a different user. So let's say we're testing for broken access control issues. We're going to have two accounts, which one will have a lower privilege and one will have a higher privilege. And those privilege levels are important here because what we're going to do is grab the authorization header of the low privileged user and then repeat every single request that the high privileged user makes. Now, when we do this, we're basically simulating how the low privileged user is attacking the system. But to do this, we can log in as the high privileged user to activate those functions. We can also just activate those functions as a low privileged user. There's nothing stopping us. Just go to your HTTPS3 and your proxy tab, send the request to the repeater, copy the authorization headers of the low priv user to the request that the high priv account is making. And if you do that, you're also just testing for broken access control. It's basically the same thing. So that's why you need that authorization header. When authorize is going to do a request, it's basically going to repeat every request that you make, but it's going to replace the authorization headers. In doing so, we're attacking that either a low privileged user is attacking the system. So that's what we're simulating. I mean, sorry about that. We're simulating that or we're simulating that another user, one user is trying to grab data from another user. But to do that, we have to log in as that low privileged user as well. That's very important that we do that because we want to grab their cookies and we want to be able to emulate them doing the requests. So I hope this answered your guys' questions. If it didn't, leave me a comment behind on how I can explain further because I love helping you guys. If you have any questions about this, feel free to ask them. Uncle Red out. Peace, everybody.